Hey everyone, Ramesh here. Today we are going to start a new video tutorial series on Thymlib template engine. Alright, what is Thymlib? Well, a Thymlib is modern server-side Java template engine for both web and standalone environments capable of processing HTML, XML, JavaScript, CSS and even plain text. Okay. So Thymlib template engine is not only related to HTML but we can use Thymlib template engine to process HTML, XML, JavaScript, CSS and even plain text. Okay. Thymlib is commonly used to generate HTML views for web applications. If you already worked on Spring MEC then you might heard about Thymlib template engine right. So Thymlib is commonly used with Spring MEC to develop web applications. Alright, in this video tutorial series, we're gonna use Spring Boot and Spring MUC to create a uh, web apps and to demonstrate Thymlib template engine concepts. Okay, great. Now the question is, what kind of templates can Thymlib process? Alright, out of the box, Thymlib allows you to process six kinds of templates. Look at here; these are the six templates. The Thymlib can process HTML, XML, text, JavaScript, CSS, and RAW. RAW means plain text. Okay. What is Thymlib template? Well, a Thymlib template can be HTML page with some Thymlib expressions. It can also include dynamic content from Thymlib expressions. For example, look at here. This is the HTML page. HTML page has HTML tags along with that Thymlib expressions. So we use Thymlib expressions to access Java code objects and Spring Beans. All right. For example, look at here the code snippet. So this is the HTML page, and this page has HTML tags and Thymlib expressions to access Java objects. And look at here, we use Thymlib expressions to access Spring Beans. So this is a spring security attribute that is provided by Thymlib to access spring bean objects. All right, great. So we'll create a lots of examples in this video tutorial series to understand Thymlib concept, concepts, Thymlib expressions, a lot of things. All right, great. Now let us take a look at Thymlib engine. So Thymlib engine will parse Thymlib template. It uses Java model data to replace the positions marked on Thymlib template to create a new text in the HTML page. For example, look at here, this is a person Java class. It has first name, last name, instance variables. And let us say if we have a list of person objects and that we want to show on Thymlib template. So look at here, this is the piece of code. So we use th colon each Thymlib attribute to iterate over a list of person objects in Thymlib template and we use Thymlib expression to access Java objects, spring beans, etc. And we want to dynamically, uh, you know, change the change the data. So for that, uh, we, are, we are going to use Thymlib expressions. Now the Thymlib engine will basically parse a Thymlib template and it will replace all the you know Thymlib expressions with new text in a HTML page. For example, this is the piece of code that uh, iterate over a list of person objects uh, using Thymlib expressions and attributes. And this code will be replaced with a new text in a HTML page by Thymlib engine. So Thymlib engine will basically pass a Thymlib template and it will insert a new text uh, in a HTML page based on the Thymlib expression or Thymlib code that we have used in a Thymlib template. Alright, this is how Thymlib engine works. So just remember, Thymlib engine will pass a Thymlib template and it uses Java model data to replace a positions to create a new text in a HTML page. Alright, great. Now the question is where Thymlib template processed. Alright, in typical web applications, Thymlib is processed on server side. Alright, and server returns 
uh, HTML page and that will be again rendered on a browser. For example, look at here, this is Spring MUC web application. So basically when we hit the link in a browser, the request first comes to the um, controller. So this is a Spring con MUC controller. So controller will basically process the request and it will create a model with data and then it will return a view. So that is HTML page or Thymlib template engine and Thymlib template engine will be again rendered on a browser uh, with the model data. All right. Great. So this is a typical flow in a Spring MUC web applications and uh, basically Spring MUC controller returns a view that is Thymlib template and that will be again rendered on a browser. So this we will see uh, in further uh, videos of this tutorial series. Alright guys, this is the quick overview of Thymlib. In next video, we will create a hello world Thymlib application with Spring Boot. Okay, great. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.